Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Sarah, and don't worry, this weird camera angle will fix to an overhead desk situation once we unbox it. Sorry, just wanted to freeze the video for a second and let you guys know, the camera angle is like this because this is actually my live reaction of un unboxing this. The camera angle will fix at 2 minutes and 2 seconds. But yeah, we are going to be unboxing the pen pastels, and I actually got these for my birthday, um, but this is definitely posted way after, but yeah, let's get into these. So, there we have it, the pan pastel box. So, yeah, let's get this open too. Um, and I got the portrait set because I mostly do portraits if you have seen my Instagram. So, yeah, let's open this up. And also, these might not be in order, like the different colors, because we did unbox them uh, earlier, like a few months, like a month ago, to make sure that nothing was broken. But don't worry, it's all the same. So, here we have it. First scene, we got this huge sponge for like blending in big areas and whatnot. We got one little stack of them. Ooh, the second stack. Stack. And we got these two little brush things that you'll put the sponge applicators on. So we also actually made an order at Jerry's Artorama, and I'm getting that stuff for Christmas. Uh, and it has a few different things in it that I'll need, like the case for these, some paper, whatnot. Also, my nails are very Christmassy. I think they might be blurry. And also, totally random though, off topic. Um, so yeah, the this is everything that comes in the kit, and actually they have more tools at the bottom of these jars. So that is nice, and we will do a few swatches, actually. This is me from the future, and the rest of this video is going to be filmed on my table, so don't worry. I actually bought this case for the pen pastels so I can hold them better. Um, and we are going to be putting all of the pen pastels right in here, and after that, we're going to do some swatches. So yeah. Now, let's get on to doing some swatches. Trying them out for the first time, most of the colors swatched really nicely. Um, and now we're actually going to head on to doing a piece. Hey guys, so right when starting this piece, I thought, why are the browns not performing as well? And the lighter colors are performing so much better. Um, well, I think that might actually have something to do with the paper because I heard a lot of people said they didn't like this paper. So I was confused on whether to get it or not. This is the Cans and Me Tints. T tints, I don't know how to say it. Um, but yeah, so I, I did order a new paper from UART, which is supposed to be much better. So we'll try that out. I don't think it's the Pen Pastel's fault because I haven't seen any bad reviews about them. But mm, we'll try, out, try it out on the new paper another day. But otherwise, I think that they work really well. And it's really good for um, if you're doing a colored pencil portrait and you want to put a base under. Hey guys, so I finished with all the pen pastel parts, which is mostly the skin, um, the little head wrap, and the top. So now I'm going to go on with some colored pencils and add in all the details and finish up the hair and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and this is the finished drawing. Um, I think it turned out really nicely and I feel like the skin is pretty smooth and everything, um, mainly um, because of the pen pastels, so I will definitely keep using them on all my colored pencil portraits. Um, and sorry I did not actually film the colored pencil part, um, I was actually just sitting on my, um, couch and doing it, so I really couldn't have filmed it very well. But, yeah, I will definitely do better time lapses in the future with these pen pastels, and, um, you'll be able to see more from them in the future, of course. And, yeah, I really actually like them. I do not like this paper though, so I ordered the UART paper so I can use the pen pastels to their full um, greatness, I guess you could say, um, because I don't think that this Canson paper really did a good job because uh, the browns did not really pick up well. You couldn't see it here, but 
The hair, I had to do all in colored pencil because this paper did not pick up the browns well. So yeah, but that is pretty much it for today. And I hope you like this drawing. I will insert a picture here. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Overall, I really recommend these pen pastels um, for if you are a pastel artist or if you're a colored pencil artist because they are very good for doing bases. And I feel like they work as you would expect them to work. They're really smooth. They're very pigmented and all of that. So yeah, I would personally recommend them. You should do your own research if you are looking to get them because they are a pretty big purchase. And yeah, that is it for today's video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow my Instagram at SarahSideArt. Um, turn on the notifications bell so um, you can get notified for every time I post. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!